What's up everyone? Welcome back to this programming video. And in this video, we are going to look at a small little Python script I made to encrypt my will. Ever since we lost our mom in November of 2023, we've been having to deal with the state matters. And one of the things that you see with a close family member dying is the need for the physical copy of the will. It's very annoying if your parents were boomer and they didn't prepare or they just weren't very organized. In thinking about that, I was like, okay, with my will, I don't want to have a physical copy. That's a lot of extra work. And if you want to ever make changes, you have to get a whole new one written and, not and notarized. It's a whole thing. So I thought instead of having a physical copy, I will sign my copy digitally and then I will encrypt the raw file. That way it can only be decrypted with the key. And therefore we will use that as the physical copy because it can't just be taken and modified without having the decryption key. Now, here is what I did with Python. This is a very simple program. You can see here, it's only about 120 lines, but I first brought in all of the cryptography modules that I would need for this. And then I specified the file path. So we can see here that I made this quick test one for you guys to see. So it just says test one, two, three, test four, five, six. And then we come down, we generate the keys. I wanted to use an asymmetric uh, encryption method. So I wanted a public and a private key. And therefore we generate the public key and then we generate the private keys from, or the we generate the private keys and then we generate the public key from the private key. And then we have to serialize them and put them as .pem files because I want the keys to be stored. Then as we go through all of this, we come in and we load the keys. So we get those file paths that we'll specify when we call the method. And as we come into encrypting the data, which will also be passed through with the call, it comes through, sets the cipher, sets the vector, and encrypts encrypts everything, ensures that it's all done properly to RAS, uh, RSA standards. And then we come down here, and you can see here where we specify the directory path, which is that file at the very top. We have the keys, which also use the directory path. And then we launch the encryption data, and then we have the output which comes down here and sets it to a hard coded name. I will in the GitHub, I will probably make this a variable that you guys can set yourself. And then if you ever want to decrypt it, here's the decryption method, which runs at the top here. And it uses the private key to decrypt the data that was encrypted by the public key. And then Bob's your uncle, you get it back. So here we go. Uh, we're in the doc decrypt. So we are going to run Python encrypt.py and hit run. And we come into will and you can see here, it runs the private key, stores the, stores the private key, stores the public key, encrypts. So if we open up this, it won't open, which is exactly what we want. And then we have the decryption, which when we open it, test one, two, three, test four, five, six. So it's a very small program. I thought it was just a really cool idea to uh, bypass a lot of the annoyances that come with dealing with something like this, like with the physical copy. And like I said, this program will be available on my GitHub. You can go there, Little Rex 2015. I'll have a link in the description box down below if you wanna grab a copy for yourself and just tinker around with it, toy around with it. But yeah, there you go. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know and leave a sub, leave a comment and see you later.